we're there we back. Go. We're back. Look at that. Yeah. Welcome to Tuesday's Tips we're and We're back tips. up. We're back up. <laughs> Hello. Title of our show, Hello Getting show. It Up. Get it back up. Getting it on. Well, getting it on. Getting it up. I think they go hand in hand. But we're back so in. We're that. back on. Yes. Oh, you're not shiny. I am. That's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm probably because I just washed off, I think. That's you why do. I'm not shiny. Is that what you were doing in my bathroom? But I'm shiny. We're shiny, happy people we're inside. Oh, my God. He so says so. that every... <laughs> Single show. You call me shiny. I know. Welcome to Tuesday's Tips and Tales with Cece and Corey live. Wait, ching ching. How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hump day tomorrow. I know. Why can't that be every day? In, mo <laughs> I just, in most people's lives. As her DNA drools out of her <laughs> mouth from her thing, she's like, this is good. In most people's lives. <laughs> no cake. Like, oh, hump day God. does happen every day. Wouldn't mm. it be nice to have sex every day? Somebody somewhere is having sex. Every every moment of every day, so it's good to have the it's it's good to have the diversity. Don't want to narrow it out just to one person having all the pleasure. So it's good, it's good America. But wouldn't it be nice? Would be nice. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's yeah. when you become a porn star. It'd be nice if you really like like the person you're having sex How with. How great is that job? You get to have sex and get paid for it. Uh, go, oh, porn stars! Oh, yeah, right. It should be seven days a week. That what one. would your porn star name be? I think I'd do overtime. Uh, My porn star name be big one. <laughs> Girth. <laughs> it'd be, Hi, it'd, be, it'd is, be a weird name. It'd my be, name is maybe Girth a, Rogers. It would be a weird name called. Here's my credit card. <laughs> Garth Brooks. Girth Brooks. Here's something, that, here's something that's not disappointing. My credit limit. <laughs> here's a big fatty. Right, right yeah, right there. <laughs> here's it's thin, one. but it works. <laughs> Can buy you as many batteries as mm. you need. Exactly. Go crazy. Make yourself happy. Like my credit card is basically, go oh, you make yourself happy. I just made myself happy. I think mine would have to be like, I don't know, Trixie or, you know. Trixie? Tricks. Yeah. Turning tricks. Yeah, Trixie. Turning tricks. Yeah. I don't know. we got to think about that one. Anyways, as you can see, Next we're, we're getting session. really uh, up for, no up. pun intended, up for our show because we're going to talk about things that nobody talks about. Even mm. like one-on-one. -on -one that we don't talk about, and that I have had experience with, have you, is the question. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to finish that sentence. And will he admit it? Will he admit it? I want you it? to finish that sentence. So tonight's show is um, getting it on, getting it up. And I got to say... It's nothing to do with sex, which is even weirder. <laughs> How does it not do with sex? So I'm talking about a hat. Getting it on and getting it up. You know, we kind of... We think of ourselves as the modern day masters and Johnson. We talk about um, things that people don't talk about. She's a about. master and I have a Johnson. Ask us anything. And yeah, I think. that is good. Do you have a Johnson? I don't know. I am Sometimes the, I think I, I am the master. Sometimes I think I do. I'm yeah. the master. It varies of, from day to day. I'm the master of the Johnson. Call me on hump day. Let me know. Did you <laughs> that's, that? that's a good one. What's it? The master of the Johnson. Of the, yeah. I heard you are. <sighs> Ram. So, we thought we would talk tonight about something that kind of, plag I think it plagues everybody. It really does. What's that? And oh, first of all, erectile dysfunction. Oh, speaking of which. No, I'm kidding. Speaking of dysfunction. Oh, I had a great weekend. I, it was, speaking it of was, dysfunction, <laughs> I had a great weekend. <laughs> he didn't want to have sex, and I got free dinner. It was perfect. Actually, no, it was kid weekend. It was awesome. So oh, kid weekend. Friday night was um, a little uh, play date dinner night because her little buddy... Gianna, her birthday party was Saturday. We were going to New York to do the sleepover at the museum. Ooh. So a night at the museum, I don't know if any of you have experienced this, but the night at the museum. That's a legit movies, thing. Yes. So you sleep at the um, American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, you literally, you check in. You can start checking at 530 up to 8. And you bring your sleeping bag, your toothbrush, pajamas. And you have the run of the entire museum all night. And then they get your... You have the runs? Yeah. Well, yeah. Have runs the whole museum. So it was, it's amazing. It's our second year doing it. And um, it's fun. they have like a schedule of events throughout the night. So there was like an animal show. And I'm talking like a 12-foot an like anaconda. My daughter thinks it's like a viper. I'm like, honey, it's not a viper. Anaconda? Anaconda. Got you covered. Yeah, exactly. What else don't you have? That was my date. Um, <laughs> Where are you going, Taylor? <laughs> So there's hundreds here. and hundreds of kids, and you sleep in a different room. So we were in the room of North American mammals, like mountain goats, brown bears. It, it, it was amazing. And 
then they had like a flashlight fossil tour or hunt, and then they had the mummy ex exhibition, which is only there for a short while. Right. Totally wigged me out. And my daughter's like, that is so cool. Then I'm explaining, hey, listen, they like slice you open, they rip your guts out, they mm -hmm. put them in these beautiful little jars, and they bury those beautiful little jars with you wrapped up in linen. I didn't explain it. Quite and then they do it, movies about it with Abbott and Costello. Exactly. Or the mummy movies, those scary movies. But it was quite fascinating, and it really, you sit there and... If they're kind of so tight, why do they do this? <laughs> they don't. So they're, they're like almost wrapped in balls. Like the mummies that balls? we saw. Balls. Yeah. I like to save my balls. Yeah. That'd be nice. But they Costello. are, and there used to be like grave robbers, and they would put like all their jewels and their um, <clears throat> gold and... And whatnot in in their mummy cases, mm -hmm. and if you weren't wealthy and didn't get that cement, you know where it's like a cement covering, right? Grave robbers. Oh yeah. Oh, they dig dig you up and take open you up. Open you up. Dig you up and open dig you it up. up. They wouldn't touch like you wrapped up, but did he grab by the jewels? <laughs> yeah. So it was amazing, and they had a hundred and twenty twenty two foot dinosaur, which is uh, one of a kind, and wow. it was so big that it actually they had to stick its head up the doorway. It wouldn't fit in the whole room. Wow. So anyway, so it goes on and then you have like a planetarium show and That's then there was like... on that guy. Exactly. Imagine them humping. <laughs> Seriously, dinosaurs. The female dinosaur was just getting buried. Well, so then we... She's walking around with a limp next day. <laughs> then we were watching the um, 3D show of the humpback whale and they did show some mating. There's a lot of double on time during the show. Oof. Jules, balls. Jules, balls. Hump, hump humping. Back. Hump back. All kinds of hump stuff. Hump forward. Yeah. Hump for Where's the hump forward whale? Okay, anyways, so I had a great weekend. It was fun filled lacrosse, and then we went and saw Boss Baby. I was a little disappointed. I, yeah, I've heard the same thing. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be funnier. Like the beginning kind of dragged out, mm. and then I was waiting for the zingers, and like you know, he's always great, but no good, huh? That's a shame. I like sport, did big, did big numbers even better. Of course, it's big numbers because all the hype. Think about oh. like all the hype. Sorry, it's killing my eyes. Okay. So, <laughs> apparently, I'm having laser eye surgery here while you talk. So how was your weekend? It was good. I only had one little show. Nothing right. great. Someone's uh, very joined good. us. Very good. Jay, Jay's in. Nice to see you, Jay. Um, hey, Jay. Jay, have you ever been humped by a uh, humpback whale? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was nothing too exciting. I had a really boring. I had a lot of like cleaning and tax prep and all that kind of stuff. So you didn't work. Not very. I did. I had one little show Saturday. Where? Like, I just run in Delaware. Nice. Nothing great. Cool. Who so. else just joined us? Oh, Jay, what do you say? Sup, Jack? What? What am I? What am I, what am I not here? Zero. Am I invisible? Am I on the pay me no mind list? Jay and I go way back. Right? Jay, Jay. What does he say there? What am I, a mirage? No. Jay, like Joe Pesci. What am I, a mirage? Jay's here for the guy. Where's my side. drink, huh? Oh, my God. Come on. I wait on him, hand. Come on. Look what's in his hand. He just strolls in the door. Come on, Spider, you little, you little piece of shit. Come on, Spider. Am I a mirage here, Jay? Come on. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about um, getting it on and getting it up. Getting it on and getting it up. Yeah. Mm. I'm just saying. Does Jay know how to do All that? right, have you, ever, have you ever had an issue? No. Seriously. No. But I, already, like, I mean, there's times where they want to do it twice, and I need a little... I'm like a... I'm no, like, I'm not talking about twice. Just like in I'm general. Like, I'm, like a, I'm like a musket. You know, I can fire once, and then it takes, takes a little time to re reload. Well, we're not talking about refract. Period. Refractionary period. What we're talking about is <laughs> so. <laughs> I just saw our timeline. I'm like, oh, I'm right in the, I'm right in the area where I should be a little. So, nervous. Um, when you're young, and we all know this, it's like you could go all night and do it oh, all man. night long, like 20 times a night, right? Oh, my girlfriend in college. Really? She liked that. She called me the love stick. She called you the love stick. What are they calling you now? The dead stick. Dead stick. Dead stick. Your girlfriend's back. My is. doggy. So she then, 30 to 39 years old, you're kind of average. Like, it's an average, you know, erection. Right. And then, 40 to 55, weak. Nothing weak. No. Weak. Now. Talk to the hookers in the main line. Nothing weak about this. <laughs> Talk to the twins in eight. Well, I'm paying for it. You know I'm going to have it up. No, but seriously. Let's seri seriously take this down a notch, you know. And um, we can goof around about it. But... 40 to 55 years old, I feel bad for the guys. But see, the women are also facing some of the same issues that we'll get into um, with this. Dryness. Well, not only that, sex drive. I think we're all having sex drive issues. Like, after 40, it well, starts to creep up, up on you. 
Go ahead. I thought women took it up a notch. I thought that's why it's all in converse. That's why we older women date younger guys because women are starting to get the hormones going at forty. I think that, that's because they children. were married and they didn't get any get sex late. at uh, all. And if you're out there, yeah. write in to CoreyAlexander.net. About what? Oh, getting laid. I mean, yeah. I know, I know. She's old, folks. You, Don't worry about it. I know, I know. So, <laughs> Just, what? And then listen, 56 to 70, it's like there's a big sign that says fail. fail. That's bad. Fail. That's bad. Yeah. Well, I hope my dad and my mom aren't doing anything, you know? Yeah. Well, come on. I don't want them getting it on. Why wouldn't they? You're going to be. I will you be, but not my parents. You can't mom and dad. You can't think of it that way. Let's get back yeah. to like... So, if from experience, you know, mm -hmm. I've been in situations um, with where the... Um, the equipment was not working. Uh -oh. And there's a lot of different reasons. So, first of all, the age. We've already talked about the age. What happened when you, what happened? What'd you do? Well, I'm going to get there, or? yeah. Shoot no, some no, no. What you guys do? So, you're, there is an age factor. And as you're older and you're, you know, dating or married, there's an age factor. And and people are I'm embarrassed to, to talk so, about it. Sorry, sorry, Chase. I'm moving to China on Saturday. So, much of me, Jack. Oh, this is apparently, apparently... You're moving to China... There's a Hooters in, in in Shanghai. Really? Well, I know where I'm going when I go to Shanghai. Where are you working over there? One of the clubs? There's a Hooters in Shanghai. First of all, is it is it Asian Hooters? Because that's still pretty bad. I don't know. They shoot ping pong balls out? Yeah. It might be like Hooters. Hooters, Hooters and Hills. Are you really moving to China? Seriously? That's crazy times. Did he just say yeah? Yep. Are you working in the same industry? Or something new? Is he working for a Hooters? No. No, no, no. What do you say? He said, yeah. Nice. We gotta catch up. I'd love to hear about that. I hope that's a great move for you. You're gonna miss your grandkids, you know. I don't feel like massage is a great place to move. Yeah, to. you'll have no problem with getting it on over there. Right? What do you say? Oh, LOL. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, age is certainly the big factor. Mm -hmm. and, and you see all the commercials and there's Cialis and Viagra and, and whatnot. Um, Some generics now. Generics. Well, so, and I'll get into this in a minute, but there are other factors. So, let's say you're married, mm -hmm. and your husband's a sole breadwinner, mm -hmm. and there's pressure on at work, right? Sure is. Right? So, there's, like, the wheels are turning, and even though you're trying to be, like, you know, sexy and amorous and, like, wanting to get it on, things are... Like, <laughs> How's it going again? <laughs> Why is it fi was it firing that way? It's been firing know. that way. Sometimes, sometimes they go left. Sometimes they go right. <laughs> Yo, you, you got married. You know how we did with the guy with the hook dick? Oh my god, it was like a million. It was a million years ago. It was a hook dick. Shh. Yes. Wow. It was a long time ago. How did it? What did it? Was it was a long time ago. It was like out of college. It was did, strange. Did you tell him to go inside and make a right? No, it was the weirdest <laughs> thing that ever happened to me. Go to the T, make a left. You're right there. Mm -hmm. Can't miss it. Get, order me a Slurpee. When I you're think there. almost a lot of women have had that experience. There's a guy with a hook. Wow. There's a lot of guys Why? with that. It just goes that way. Sometimes it, some guys have broken it and it goes that oh, way. Oh, yeah. And sometimes broken it just penis. goes that way. Just like our hearts. Oh, God. So again. anyways, so <laughs> the, again, the guy has a ton of pressure. Uh, whether he's a sole breadwinner or not, what if he has like a very competitive partner who is extremely successful and he's failing? So mm. all these are taken into place. Now, depression. That's bad. So depression... You definitely have issues on both sides, male and female, of, of getting it up and getting it on. And I say getting it on for women because we don't really, we don't get it up. <laughs> we get it on. What, what if it's the same annoying woman that you want to go to bed with? That's why it's not going. Oh, don't go to bed with her anymore. <laughs> yeah. So then there's... And what if it's the same annoying guy you have to go to bed with every night? Don't go to bed with him anymore. <laughs> You're like, move on. My face. Move on. So, <laughs> there you go. So, the point of what I'm trying to say here is that it's there's a lot of factors involved. It's not just as simple as getting old. It could right. be you could be young and have these issues because there's pressure at work. There's pressure from a girlfriend, like you know, I don't, when are you gonna give me an engagement ring? When are we gonna get married? You know, there, there's so many factors in life. So when people, the 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 difficulty is, is as you get older, you're screwed because if you're like. 55, 60, and you have pressure at work, and there's stuff going on at home, and on top of it all, your equipment's failing, 
You know what? You know what? When one says you want a ring, yeah. you know what I tell him? What? Take your phone off silent. <laughs> Go ahead. That was a good one. I like that one. That's great. I know. I love when you throw those little zingers. Then she slaps me in the face and she leaves. That happens to you all the time. I know, but that's another time. reason that they slap yeah. me in the face and leave. So. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Jack? We moved to you? Asia. Jack. Jack. We moved to Singapore. We're all going to Asia. We should come and like do a show with you in Asia. Ooh. We can get like eat sushi. They eat sushi off the naked women. But that's Japan, I think. I don't think that's China. Right. I like the Chinese. So, Chinese, Japanese. Yeah, the food's good. These are these. It's supposed these. to be beautiful too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So okay. So yeah, so we have trouble when we're over. What, All right. What women so have trouble with? women. So the men have trouble, and um, there are lots of options. We've talked about the little blue pill. There's like is Cialis yellow. What do women There's say? also. Did you get wet? Well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. There's also oh, so know. now there's this new. It came out on uh, on CNN about this natural pill called the jackhammer for Woo! guys. Yeah, the jackhammer for guys. Seriously. So That's always good. The jackhammer is um, the jack CNN News. People call me the jackhammer. Right uh, the jack jackhammer is all made of natural um, ingredients that we are, like macaroot. Macaroot is great. Ginseng. Um, here, I think I have a list over here. Ginseng. Yeah, like so. There's all these different um, ingredients that will give you the same result, maybe even better. The problem with Cialis and Viagra and those pills is that you can have a heart attack. You can Ooh. get that four-hour erection that hurts. You have gotta Ooh. go to the hospital, right? How do you get that down? Why are you touching yourself? He's touching himself. It's like things. he's like, ah. How do, how do you get rid of a four-hour erection? You have to go to the emergency room. What do they do? I don't know. They There's somebody it. out there. Jay, they, have you they, ever, had, ever had that happen? Do you have to smack it down with like a hammer or something? Like Back in the old days when I was in high school, I had to like slam it in a locker and it went right down. <laughs> you don't want, like, want to go from like history class or religion class with a giant boner. I think they have to read Because like little they, Julie happened to wear a little skirt that day with a boobage hanging on. You're like, <laughs> oh, you're like I'm hitting the desk here. What do I do, teach? What's wrong with them? I swear, what's wrong with them? So there's um, ginseng, macaroot, um, what's this other one? Ter Teristus, la ajarine. I heard ginseng is good for the old... Uh, so there's a list, the and if you're thousand. interested in, you know, write to me, and I will send this information out to you guys, but look up this jackhammer. It's funny, funny name. It's like jackhammer XL, extra large. Has this been, uh, uh, make you has this been licensed by the FDA, though? Um, so it was on CNN, and... Um, I didn't see that, whether it was or not, but it's all a natural, I don't think if it's natural ingredients, it has to be FDA approved. I'm not sure. We'll have to do a research they, on if that. They, if, they, if they tout it as a cure for something, it has to be approved. It's not really, I wouldn't say it's a cure. What it does is it's an enhancement. So it actually is supposed to make you, um, get that blood flow going. Have better orgasms, have longer erections mm -hmm. naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Getting it on. So, that's what it's all about, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Getting it on. When you go what to else do you live for? Food, movies, museums. I'm thinking that if, if CNN... You were thinking about banging out a dinosaur, weren't you? I'm like, oh, if only that anaconda was me in here. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. And I had my daughter here. I don't need it that big. <laughs> Just a tip? Seriously, be nice. Don't talk about my tip. daughter like that. Come on. I didn't say my daughter. I'm talking about you. No, I know, but like, Dirty I can't. Girl. I am totally not. Tonight. So... The whole um, erectile dysfunction um, is, is plagues everybody. I mean, so men are embarrassed. Not embarrassed. Oh, they're embarrassed. But it's, a, it's, just a, it's just a reason for us to fake like we did so we can watch the ball game. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. so, we really do want to have no, sex, but we're like, we'd rather watch no, the ball game. No, no. Trust me, from experience. Like, it's, as a woman, you have to delicately handle that conversation. And you have to delicately it's handle. Okay, it happens to everybody. No, it's you it's can't common. even. You shouldn't. Sometimes you don't even bring it up. Right. You sort of have to wait for him to, you know, be saying, you know, I'm really sorry. I've got a lot on my mind. What's going on? And then there's got to be like this communication. But everybody's afraid to talk about it. You know, the partner, the woman's afraid to talk about it. The guy doesn't want to talk about it because you know he's embarrassed or it's going to make things worse. Mm -hmm. and, so, 
if I, you know, Cece says, uh, you know, and I'm speaking in third person, but to try to talk to each other about it. Try to prepare. There's nothing wrong with preparing. Like, hey, I'm going to go in and, and, you know, we're going out to dinner. I'm going to pop that pill in, and by the time we get home, we're going to have some loving. So you How can, long did it take it before you have it in advance? Like within a half hour, 40 minutes. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Did you just have a half an hour? So how do you know? See, that's the thing is, I think. How do you know you have to pop that pill at the right time? Because what happens if she's not in the mood, or if she changes her mind, or if the, the date doesn't go well. well like, it's now not you like you've taken Now you've got a hard on for no reason. No, so just because you pop the pill doesn't mean it just immediately goes up like a tent. There has to be some stimulation. Now, so I... Um, but what if, what if you pop the pill, and you think you're getting some action, but then you don't, you go home, and now you get a four-hour erection, and you got to watch porn for like all day. If you have a four-hour erection, like any time that you have an uncomfortable erection, you should right. go to the emergency room. That's what I read. That's what I read. Yeah, but what happens? Like, what happens if you have to go home alone? What if happens if she's like this? Can you? you play with yourself? But what if you keep going? What if it just doesn't happen? You. So if you have a full-on erection for four hours, right? For even like straight for an hour, I think you need to like be concerned. <laughs> um, so you can't. I mean, with I am no doctor. You can, you I am not a doctor. What happens is you can actually take them and control whether you're excited or not through intimacy, through you yeah, know, what happens, physical so can, contact. Can you finish with these things? With yes. These so what they're saying when is you finish, it doesn't apparently say the orgasms are ten times better than without. Oh, wow. Yeah. But what happens if you if you finish? So I've heard. If you finish, then is it still still up or is it is it down? No, it's down. Okay. It's right. just like normal operating equipment. The Johnson is doing his thing. But you have to time. But, but this thing is like, this weird. You, like, you have to time it. It's a blood. No, 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 no. Because all right. So my research showed that <laughs> personal. No. Okay. Research showed that there were some guys that would actually the effects would last for a couple days. Did you get erections again? Uh huh. Oh, for one pill? Yeah, for a couple days. Some guys, it's twenty four hours. But That's what? It. It's not like you take it and whoop. It's up. It's it's, up. You, have to, you have to be aroused. You have to be attracted. You know, uh, if you're not right. attracted to someone, it's not going to go up. It what just you, doesn't like go up. What if you take the pill in anticipation, nothing happens, but you don't play with yourself. So there's a chance you can still use it again the next day? So you're going to get... It increases blood flow. So every guy wakes up with a heart on, right? Oh, Most yeah. guys. So you're going to wake up with it. So you salute in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because you have to pee. What then, you, then you got to pee with a heart on. You got like basically got to pee at the Paul. Hey Paul, how are you? Basically got to pee at the ceiling and hope it just goes like you just like like a waterfall. You got to hope it just goes back down. So, <laughs> Try with a heart on. I like would love to hear from you guys as to if you've had any experience. Like you're going to tell us because your name's up on the board, but even writing into it honestly. So apparently, some guys are even taking it just to have more like better orgasms like more erotic like very intense orgasm so the orgasm is much more enhanced that's from my research that is what is happening now again you, you just <laughs> don't no, it's not personal research yeah, your eyes pop out hey, your Kathy, ears fall off How's kathy that? that's my cuz oh. Kathy. we're talking about erections and that and lack thereof so kathy what um, do you do what do you, what do you do as an alternative the guy can't get it up what do you do as an alternative I think shoots and ladders is a lot of fun. Or play Clue. And if it's a really bad, like... I wash my if hands. If he's like seven years old, you know it's not coming back for at least two days, I say Monopoly. You gotta go Monopoly, because that'll take you at least two days. Park plays. Oh! I mean, <laughs> Monopoly's a perfect thing to get rid of it for like a couple hours. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be whipping out Monopoly. It actually, it's just... Don't you think Monopoly? Monopoly's it's, good. It's an Get your mind off things, uh, you know? You got a banker and stuff like that. It's good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, what do you think, Kathy? How does that work out for you? Are you single or married? She's single and she's beautiful. Oh, single and beautiful. She's beautiful. Whoa, where's yeah, the, you're not, where's the... She's in Boston. No, you're not I'll touching I'll move to her. Boston. There's no way. Kidding me? I'll move no to Boston way. right now. You're not going there. Kathy, where do you live in Boston? Yeah. I have a parking spot in Boston, Don't by the way. tell them. That'll, that'll Don't tell her. them. She's gorgeous. Anybody who has a parking spot in Boston, you're considered like a king. So, she lives outside of Boston. That's all I'm giving you. Oh, Watch well, out. You she will stalk you. I look like, just like Tom Brady. It doesn't look like it on, uh, on camera. God, I look if he was Tom Brady right now, we wouldn't be on camera right now. <laughs> Seriously, he'd be on the floor naked. <laughs> no the doubt. blue pill being shoved up my nose. I don't think Here, take this. I don't think Tom needs a blue pill. However, could you imagine the night before? I bet you Tom needs a little blue pill. He's almost 40. Oh my God. He's like... 
He's, he's been nailing Giselle. I mean, she's hot, but she's been nailing the same girl for like 10 years. Are you telling me you would get sick of that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be like, I'll be like, come on, we no, bring some friends, won't. bring some model friends in here. No, no. Let's get, let's get some foursomes, fivesomes, sixsomes going. Seven okay, sums. so we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on. So guys, yeah. I like feel your pain. And he, even though he hasn't gotten to this in, in my matrix of men and what different age groups of even being at the weak area, you're approaching the weak area. All right, so here's, here's my oh, thing in, 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 uh, in, in conjunction with this. Uh, my thing was the, the 50 best romantic getaways. No, I'm not done. We have to talk about women oh. first. <laughs> we're going like to talk about romantic getaways, though, because we're going to tie this all together, and we're going to... You pack up the pills, and, then, and you go to the romantic getaways. Okay. All right, so... So for women, what do you do? All right, so women, and seriously, this is actually starts... Women who are Actual pregnant line. and have babies, they can be 20-something years old, and want nothing to do with sex, have issues with getting um, lubricated, having issues with a sex drive, period. Like, once that kid pops out, you're up all... My daughter, I nursed her every two hours for three months. And what then for this? eight months. What if you purchase that little uh, thing at the dentist, you know, when they push the thing and the water comes out and stuff, and you put that right in there? Just, <laughs> that'd be perfect, right? Just... <laughs> I, so just wet it down. You know how they, you know how like in movies they have to wet down the street and stuff. Maybe you have that gigantic little thing that comes in and shoots the big spray and wets everything down. It's called a hand shower. Yeah, there it is. A hand shower. Just, just, just drench them. There you go. But Everybody's see, happy. water is not a lubricant. I know, but you water them down, get them all wetted up, and then you throw the astroglide in there. Everything's a good time. No. So for those just of you who have, for those of you who have followed me since the beginning, thirty-two <laughs> shows ago. There are, several, there are several shows where I talk about coconut oil. Oh, which is a good one. Let me tell you. Not only good, but good for you. Good. Uh, well, you're not going to eat it. I mean, you do. You, you could. cook with it. You cook with it. But it's great for men you and women. Have sex and them. You, could have, you could have sex and then fry a steak right on the belly. <laughs> so hot. A coconut steak while I'm having sex. Oh, my God. I'm so... I'm turning on you. Can you feel it? You're touching me. My master's in Johnson. Can you feel that? Your master is my Johnson. No. Perfect. Keep your Johnson. <gasps> Food and sex. Over there. Perfect. Nothing better. So coconut oil, and believe it or not, I have um, recommended it to some of my friends and go. my guy friends for self pleasure, and they're like laughed at me, and then they're like, "Oh my god, I need another bucket of coconut oil." <laughs> I'm like, "Whole A Foods." Bucket. Yeah, I mean. Well, How alone are they? No, but it's, you can use it alone or together. So with women, it starts much younger because we birth children. It's true. And God bless you. You, then you're like, Gosh, all it is is sleepless nights in Seattle, everywhere. And then the poor the husband or a partner comes home and wants to get it on, and you're like, can you just get it over with, please? Can you can you just can you just get it can you just rub it right here with a little oil and get get the damn dick off or or you know can I oral sex like some women will just say I'll just like let let's just all right just give me your money let me just get the hell out of here you're come on I'm trying to give you all the secrets it's gonna happen one day and you're gonna be like oh Cece tell me what's going on coconut coconut oil I'll be sending him a case of coconut oil so. So, no, women have the same issue, and, and it unfortunately goes on forever. It does. So, with birthing children and taking care of kids, then... Moisture is, is big. How about the working birthing mom? Big. Moisture is big. So, they have all kinds of awesome lubricants out there, right? I mean, they have some that are chained up in, in uh, pharmacies. Yeah. Because they're like $40 each, like the his and hers, and it's hot, and it's not, and it's strawberry, and it's blueberry, and whatever. But they have these like super upscale. It's not the days of like just simple KY. Oh. For like two ninety nine. Now they have all talking. this stuff that like warms you up, and that stuff is great. By the way, mm. I've tried that. That's good stuff. Ram. Yeah. Right in there. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. So like the um, coconut oil is, and jojoba oil, believe it or not, jojoba oil is actually jojoba. 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 You get laid. laid. <laughs> on the same page. Jojoba oil is amazing, um, and it's all it acts as your as a skin. It's it's amazing. Nice. So get some coconut oil, preferably the refined, because then you won't have little coconut pieces in there. 
You always want to find. Although that could be a little snack fine. if you like coconut. Yeah. So women deal with this all the way through um, bearing children to have the same pressures as men. Work, children, your mother-in-law. Mother-in-law? That's your excuse? No, I love my ex-mother. <laughs> I was going to say mother-in-law? No. Come on. She's passed now, and she, she was awesome. But that, No, get, but there are, there's, there's a lot of pressure with the holidays, with like in-laws, with children. with. And I can't get you into the... Yeah, if you're sitting there thinking about... Getting yourself ready? Mode? Yeah, how like your sister-in-law is driving you up a wall and like is lazy and like doesn't help out and... Yeah, in-laws can be brutal. Very brutal. Yeah. I've never had an yeah. in-law in my life, but I can yeah, imagine. Yeah, he's never been been I have, and trust me. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Jay's trying to pack. Oh, Jay, don't go to, to China. So, so women, then they get into perimenopause. Ooh, that's the best. Sweats, like you're in bed and, and no you're with a guy, and all of a sudden it's like... Hot, like so, and I'm not sweaty because you're having sex and you're rubbing all over Post each other. Post there's it's no because... mood swings, there's no periods, there's no pregnancy. That's the best. That's the kind of girl I'm looking for. The menopausal girl? Oh, postmenopausal. Oh. All right, so here, here 60, are the tips 70s, for you menopausal women. 90s. You gotta exercise. Seriously, no doubt you have to exercise and and sweat it out and work out and get yourself to yoga, Pilates, go for a run, oh, whatever yeah. it is. You have to do that because it's going to help out with all of the issues that come along with menopause. And that is including sex. Now, again, there are the divorced women who didn't have a healthy sex life and then they just go crazy. They're just like, bam, jumping anything that comes by, which would be good for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, septuagenarians. Yeah. Octogenarians. Nonagenarians. <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s. That's all of those ladies I love. I love them all. He loves them all. So and They're there's all this, past all that. So bullshit. there's this now rage with younger men mm. going like early forties wanting the fifty something woman mm. because they're horny and they've gotten a divorce and a big payout. Like it's kind of it's kind of scummy. But take care of me for a while. Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to take. Somebody buy me dinner once. Is that, is that too much to ask for? Somebody buy me dinner. Oh come on! I just want somebody to buy me dinner once. That's all I want. Well, that's because you, you you told me that your women have bought you things and dinner. Mm, and like a pencil or it's something. It's your gentleman. That's all. And you like to court. <laughs> gentleman. No, you, and you court and you're old school Italian and that's how all men should be. This whole like 50-50 nice, thing. But it's kind of nice to be taken care of too. No, but I think that comes along in a relationship. Like, like there definitely comes to a point where, you know, it's like the hunters and gatherers and the man can hunt the woman and then he... It's romantic and she sure, yeah, her. Blow dart. Yeah. Watch her pass out. And then at some point in the relationship, Both yeah, the here. woman's like cooking dinner for you. Oh, and like, oh, oh that's yeah. what I want. Taking you out, getting my you drunk, feet. taking advantage of you. Yeah. Right. Taking advantage of me. Oh, blue pill it up. Yeah, you won't need the blue pill. So anyway, so that's the scoop with the like with women. I feel for both the men and the women. I think it's. It's definitely a problem that both have at all age levels, but everybody denies it. Nobody talks about it. And if you're a couple that is experiencing it, experiencing it on one end or the other or both ends, you've got to talk about it and like figure it out. Throw on the porn. Do what you need Ooh, to do. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, make it romantic. Like women, you want to get a woman wet? Yes. Go romantic beyond romantic. Like send her flowers. I always get flowers. Like, have candles lit when she gets home in a, in a, in a tubby wub, a little tub. And, oh. yeah, a little tub. Draw a tub? Like, let her have her me time and, like, massage her and then get some Yehovah oil and give her a little massage and then she'll massage you. And the more that you provide romance, mm. the more you're going to get what you want. Now, if she doesn't respond, she doesn't want you. Oh. Yeah, women who that. don't respond to that, they, they just... They don't, they're not in. What's the most, Tom, what's the most romantic thing you've done for Hey, Tom. Is he going to tell us? I don't know if he's going to tell us. Hey, Tom, congrats on the big win, by the way. We almost got you. <laughs> uh, that's really good. So women have their troubles, men have their troubles. Mm -hmm. And I like that because you're talking about how there's a way to build the romance 
and get to the point where you're both into it and you're both excited and both aroused. Absolutely. That's the way to go. That'll, and that'll, is, stop, that'll start an relationship right up in no time. We've talked about this before. Women, you need to play your part too. You know, lingerie. Even if you're not comfortable with your body. You could get sexy lingerie. You don't even have to get naked. Like if you're feeling like you have a little pooch or like something's hanging or sagging, you just put something sexy and romantic and lacy on, he's not going to care. He's exactly. going to say you're beautiful and he's just going to look at you and... I would throw that to get rid of the like long johns, the flannel, all that stuff. Just get rid of it and throw on something sexy. Oh, flannels. Flannels right? can be kind of hot though. Flannels are so not hot. We talked about this. There's no oh. sex. We were talking like about somebody should out? make sexy flannel underwear and sexy flannel like lingerie. Right. Is right. there like a boob hanging out with the flannel? That's all right. No, though. like little flannel pasties maybe. Oh, flannel pasties. I can do that. Right? With like Get maybe lace over it and then like little thongy. Underwear? Little little patch of flannel. Like, mm -hmm. it's got to be a little bit of flannel. I can deal with that. Right. It is uh, an issue for everyone. And I know we're going on the serious route here. <laughs> but it's going to fall into what we're going to talk about next to end our show. Yeah. Is let's pull it all together. Oh, wait. You know what my favorite commercial is? It's, I think it's a Cialis commercial. And it's a couple. And they're in these um, bear claw. He's like having sex with my dog here. I'm grabbing um, a nipple. Yeah. There's like 17 So of them. They're, the, they're the bear claw tubs on, and they're watching the sunset and they're on some hill. Okay. Have you ever seen this? Well, and they're so. both side by side. It is the most, I want to find this place. I want to go there. And you're sitting in these bear claw tubs and they're like copper and they're watching the sunset and they're holding hands. There's like glasses of wine or champagne. And it is the most romantic mm. place ever. I could do that. And, here is my, actually, some great advice. If you find that you're in this romantic relationship and neither one of you are, you're both like, nothing's happening. <laughs> nothing's happening. And, and you're both embarrassed about it, but you're just like, you love each other. There's nothing like spooning, cuddling, making out. Mm. And you don't need to have the sex to have a connection and to be in love. And, and the older we get, the more that is going to happen because you want something and that something has to be a connection where you're actually physical, but you don't have to be right intimately physical. As long as you let that other person know how much you love them, even if you're tired, you've had a shitty day at work, mm -hmm. the kids are driving you nuts, smooch up, curl up, make out, and then roll over and go to the other sides. Because <laughs> I need my space. It is. You have to you get a little. You got need sleep, sleep. So let's talk about romantic. Bring your little pill and your sexy lingerie and go. We can save that for next time. These no. Let's whip like, it there's, out. There's, there's fifty of them. That's well, way too throw much out time. like five. Uh, what are your favorites? Uh, here's here's some of my favorites. So going through this, uh, I think you can never beat New York City. It's always everybody. Everybody thinks it's not a romantic city. It's so romantic. You have so many things to do. It's because you go there and work there. That's true. But I find there's a lot of romance in New York. There's just there's no city like New York City. There it is. It's and beautiful. you could go to well, theater. There it is. You could go to comedy. You could go to music. You could go to spas. It's got everything. And of course, you even have the river. You can go on a little boat tour. You can go to the Statue of Liberty. Believe it or not, historic things. Beautiful touristy things, even like the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State. But these are little things that you would think are just too touristy, but they're great. They're romantic. But Going it's to always so and crowded, and then you get so much. Cranky. You're, Everybody you're, gets cranky. You're focused on each other. You don't, who cares about other people? Focus on each other and enjoy the moment. That's what it's all about. Okay, New York. So New York City can be great. New York. Uh, the other one I like is Napa. So either <gasps> either love Napa. So either love Napa it. or Sonoma. Love go it. and do some wine country. Go biking through it. Go through some drinks. Golf. You got Uber now. I've golfed. Oh my Golf. gosh. Golfing is amazing. Now you have every reason. Cooking classes. Mean, yeah, cooking classes. So I've done with that. Wine. So much fun. Like every city that I travel to, I do a cooking class. Not when I go to New York back and forth for this, you know, for this stuff. But right. Um, Barcelona, Florence, um, Rome, uh, Portugal, Spain. Spain's good. Madrid, yeah. yeah. So every time that I travel somewhere unique, I try to get into like a local cooking class. 
And the one that, um, and it's so romantic. Very good. Like in Italy, they actually Bad take lot. you to the market, the farmer's market, and you, and you pick out everything, and then you go back and you like cook with the chef. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, there's actually a local place. Maybe next time I'm we'll Italian, talk about it. There's so a I local place where you can actually cook your own food. They give you the food where? and you cook it there. It's actually up. Uh, there's one in like Spring City, I think. Really? There's another one in other places. There's two places where it's actually a restaurant where you can go to. They have a raw bar and then they have their own food that you make. So it's cheaper. Do you make it there? Or do you you go make home? it on the grill. They have a grill for you. They have raw I bar. I want that they, name. It's great. I'll give it to you next week. Yeah. So tune in. Okay. Uh, Savannah, Georgia. I Great love place. Savannah. You know what? It's an open container. Yes. You can Savannah walk around with a cocktail and it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So Consider Savannah, Georgia, like a great place to do in the winter. I would love, it's it's yeah. warmer. It's something that's different. Uh, I would love to go there. They have those horse-drawn carriages, and then you walk along the river. Yep. You know they turn that river green. It's a beautiful Patrick's. city, you and it's that. it's just one of the things that they don't yeah. act like a Yankee. They don't like they don't like the Yankees down there. But act like you're not a tourist, and they will love you. Don't wear sneakers. It drives me nuts. Where like I'm in Europe or in the big cities, and these Americans are like, and I love you, Americans. Don't get me wrong, the most patriotic person, but get rid of the sneakers. Yes. Get those comfortable walking shoes. All of them have Clark's. Exactly. Born. Don't look like and the white sneakers, right? Who gets horny uh, over that? Like I wouldn't get. If we got, I, I, yeah, I can't talk about this anymore. But two places I highly recommend for the summertime, as it goes more to the summer, two places that I love. I, I've been to one of them, not both, but uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, I've never Beautiful been. Beautiful romantic to place. There. Tons of romantic things to do there. And the other great one is Bar Harbor, Maine. Now, I went really? there as a family, yeah, but it's, it's awesome. Got, I want to go to Vancouver. They've got great bread and breakfast there. There's so much to do. There's biking, there's hiking, there's all kinds of good stuff. Bar Harbor, Maine. Right. Got to go there in the summertime. It's great stuff. I've wanted to go to Vancouver. I hear it's absolutely amazing. Amazing. Yes. I yeah. mean, I, I completely recommend it. Um, there's also Woodstock, Vermont. Not Woodstock, mm -hmm. New York, but Woodstock, Vermont. Oh, it's beautiful. Which is great in the summertime. Again, bed and breakfast stuff, hiking, biking. Just time alone, but there's also like, there's like a small bed and breakfast that it tends to, they talk about how couples all go there and then they all become friends. And they all do things together nice. while they're there. So it's kind of like it's a romantic getaway, but it's also you're sharing time with people that you never met, which is also exciting. And that might add to the mystique. Like you might see mystique. some some other hot couples that are getting into it, and you're like, ooh, maybe we should do that. There you go. Oh, you're talking about swinging? Yeah. No, not swing. Well, you could do that if you want. Oh, but it's just, right. just, oh. just like to get into the so, You see them making out like a younger couple, like you're an older couple, and it's like, that's what we should be like. And they're like, oh, they're old. Look how old they're still in love. So wait, I have to deviate one second. I yeah. heard that if you're a swinger, you put a, um, uh, what's the name of this? Um, the Spanish fly? No, no. They put the, it in their the, yard. The it's Bill a, Cosby fly? No, they put up a, um, not a stork, those pink things. Flamingo. Yes. Flamingo. Flamingo. Oh, I've heard of flamingo. Yeah, that's yeah I heard that if you put a flamingo up in your yard, you're a swinger. You're a swinger. Anyways, let's go back. But so, I'll have more. Let's do more let's next week. Do more next week. But that's a good, that's a good starter for all the stuff you want to write down. Yeah, I love Napa. Napa's like one of my favorite places. Oh. Oh. The phone's ringing. Somebody's ringing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm not really. Can you just um hit the side of that, please? Yeah. See, someone give us a studio. We need a studio. We need a studio. All right. All right. You just touched my. I just touched your ass. Tiny. Yeah. Let's put his finger. No. It fit. <laughs> no. If it did, I would be there. on the ceiling. Oh, my, oh, my oh, dog. Oh, oh. <laughs> so here we are. So we are. What a great night. Thank um, you guys for coming. Thank out. you everyone for joining us. Uh, loved having you in. I know you can't write things in because then everyone would know it's you and yeah. you're on the magic pill. We'll talk to you off. off Come off, on, off, write off, to off. me. And Beaver Tales, I got to tell you, like, I mean, there's some stories in there that would get things rolling between you and uh, your your loved one there. Mm -hmm. Seriously, read it in bed together and I almost promise you that you'll get some action. Because there's some funny, funny, true stories that are horny and... Well, I'm horny. Horny and, and funny it'll and It'll get you cheeky. started in the right direction. Yeah, it'll get you started and you'll laugh and you'll get cry. frisky. It'll become a part of You're you. not going to cry. Totally, totally going to laugh. It's it's, great it's cheeky, isn't it great? It's very cheeky. Yeah, it's a good way to. It's also assy and dicky and vagina. No, <laughs> it's no assy. It's great stuff. Yeah, it's awesome stuff. It's a great read in bed. 
I trust me, you'll laugh and fall in love with each other again and have great sex. You will. Yeah. Definitely. So, don't be ashamed to talk about your um, situation. We're all getting older. We all have stresses of life. Yeah. Just get it on. Any way, shape, or form you can, just get it on. And Let's get do it. it up. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you Cheers. next week. Cheers. And don't forget CoreyAlexander.net. Yeah. To Tuesday's Tips and Tales with CC and Corey Live. Thank you and have a great night. Take care. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Next week. Spring break. Spring no break. show next week. Next Sorry. Next week. Yes. We'll be back I'll in two weeks. On the road again. And we'll see you in two weeks. Love you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Have a great week.